In Romans 8, Paul tells us, And if the Spirit of the One who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who indwells you. You might know that Romans shows us the path to our salvation, but this chapter unlocks much more than a judicial process. It links us to a relationship with an active, experiential person. Not just a he, but a he who. Someone who is, who does, who is a living and breathing and acting person. But who is he to you? As believers, we are not short of a doctrinal understanding of our faith. But when we face our day-to-day challenges and relationships, we falter. What does the Lord, some distant, great, larger-than-life figure have to do with our daily struggles or the practical needs of our life. Somehow, while we know many things objectively about the Lord, we are lacking the subjective experiences of the person of our faith. We are missing those he-who moments that make him subjective and real to us. They are the moments where this person behind all of the accomplishment, faith, power, and truth is realized in us. They are the encounters with the one who is active, operating, and working all throughout chapter 8 of Romans. The one who raised Christ from the dead and who gives life to our mortal bodies, who is so intimate that his spirit indwells us. But if you never experience him, he will only be doctrine to you. The Bible will remain the Bible, and you will remain you. Who can set us free from our religious effort and logic? Only this very one whose spirit indwells us, living in us moment by moment. He who is active inside of us, searching, interceding, touching, convicting. He who awakens us, revives us, and gives us that victorious condition within. When we meet him in this way, we have all. We are by nature heirs and sons of God, who have, own, and operate all that he is. You are listening to Highlights of Notes of Fellowship from the Church in Toledo. The full text of this article is available in the link included within this post. If you have enjoyed today's fellowship and would like to hear or read more, please visit us at www.thechurchintoledo.org. We would love to hear from you, dear brothers and sisters, and hope to use this audio format to share more of our daily church life experiences to build the body of Christ with you all.